Welcome back to NC Bassin. Today, I'm back on Lake Norman. Just got done with the Tuesday tournament. One big fish, but didn't didn't win the whole thing. Ended, ended up third with 8.30 for three fish, which is pretty good. Hopefully, I got a pattern going. The small swimbait just letting it drift down. I'm gonna try some in the creeks and get off the main lake. I mean, it's it's warm right now. It's gonna get up to 60 today. It's probably 55 already. I'm starting to get hot. Water temperature down here is almost 50 degrees and climbing, so that should, and it's probably even warmer in the back of this creek. So I'm hoping the warming temperature will get these fish biting. I was hoping the wind would be blowing, but it really, it's really still calm. I mean, two mile per hour southwest. But hopefully they're still biting and should, the bite should get even better as the day goes on because the water temperature is coming up. Water temperature was still cold, but it's slowly rising. I mean, if it just comes up a couple of degrees, it gets these fish thinking about feeding up before they, for the pre-spawn. It's like 2.15 right now. So I got about four hours to catch some fish. Hopefully I can do as good as I did this morning. Let's see how it goes. So far back, oh. wasting gas. I don't know if it's fish right beside somebody. There we go. Marina fish, too small. I mean, tiny. Large mouth. That's a good sign. Where, where'd your fin go, dude? What happened to your fin? I'm good. So he'll grow up and be five pounds one day. A little something a little bigger. Than that. There's a lot of bait on this marina. Waiting for my turn on the bridge back here. Oh guys, you missed that. He was wrapped all in. All in the post. Definitely need to retie. I'm lucky I didn't lose that big one earlier. I needed to retie. I ain't retied all day and I was even thinking about it. I to tell, I've been fishing every bridge in Mountain Creek. Finally caught one. It's not big or anything, but it's something. I feel like I didn't waste gas coming back here. There's just not enough wind back here. Southwest wind, I need to go to McCrary Creek or Rocky Creek or Hacker Creek. He's one and three quarters though. It's been slow since the tournament ended. Which I've been trying to catch him on, I love catching him on a jerk bait. It's fun, way funner bite. I'm trying to put the swim bait down, but swim bait's all working. I need to just keep throwing it. Well, guys, midday update. It's kind of tough. I'm trying to fish some new water. I fish all Mountain Creek. Ton of boat traffic back in Mountain Creek. I guess a lot of guys practice for the BFL. Bunch of and bunch of hybrid guys fish for hybrids and crappies back there too. It's, I was surprised. It's probably worse than the 150 bridge. There's more people in Mountain Creek than the 150 bridge. Not many fish back there for me, at least. Not enough wind. The wind kind of died off, and that's kind of hurt my bite. I'm trying to make them bite it something else, but. Explaining to you guys what I was doing today with the eighth ounce swim bait. Kind of, I was letting it drift just with the current. The eighth ounce is slow falling, and I'm letting it fall straight down. I'm kind of up over it. There's this pot, the bracing between the pilings. That's the fish were sitting under that, and when it would fall past that, it's kind of making like a drop shot because the the bait's falling over top of it. But I'm so close, kind of fishing vertical to where I could get the fish back over there. If I was far away, it would just get hung up. And they were kind of every fish was down there below that bracing was sitting down there probably just getting warm on the on the concrete kind of fishing like a damiki rig except a little not str straight in front of me looking at my depth finder just let, letting it fall and trying to feel them bite the ones i felt bite i kind of missed them the ones that just had it in their mouth and were pulling on the rod that's the ones I actually hooked i was lucky to get all the fish out of there it also works on the dock poles too just letting it fall slow in front of the dock poles same concept I thought they were going to bite the Ned Rig today. I tried the Ned Rig, never got a bite. This is what's getting them. I'm still throwing I'm trying to drop shot too. They're not biting the drop shot. Surprising. I thought for sure they'd bite the drop shot. But probably going to have to go to this. I'm trying to catch them on other things. I want to catch them on jerk bait. I'm throwing a shad wrap too, trying to get some bites. And the water's getting warmer, so that should help the bite. Let's see how it goes. The only time it makes sense to throw those dumb things. <laughs> only if you're brainwashed. There he is. He ain't big, but I'll take him. 
I mean, he swallowed it. He digested about the time I hooked him. I thought I had one, but I felt like I was just pulling a leaf. Never felt them bite. That's the ones I feel bite. I've been missing. The ones I don't feel bite, I catch. Or miss them or lose them one. And this light hook, I just reel into them. Same size as your bait you're throwing. Depth's 250 is the same size as a 12 inch spot. Swim bait, it's all the bite. Fish. Oh, he come off. Think. Yeah, he did. Oh. He shattered. Probably a hybrid, dude. He slammed it. Lost it. Well, guys, I wasn't going to post this video, but I didn't get a chance to go this week, so I went ahead and I'm going to go ahead and post this video. I mean, I only caught, that was after the tournament last week. I only caught three fish, but if you want to catch spotted bass in the wintertime, a small swim bait's a great way to do it. I mean, really, all year, if you can you can find fish, mark them on the graph, you can catch them on the little swim bait, especially when it's calm or just a little bit of wind. It's kind of hard to catch them on moving baits. You can catch them on a swim bait somewhere on brake lines or channel swings or something. Jerk bait's also a really good and a rig, of course, for wintertime spotted bass as well. If you get a little stain in the water, a lot of wind, a chatter bait, and a crank bait work very, very good too. Unfortunately, I didn't get a chance to fish this whole week. I mean, mandatory every time is killing me. Missed out on fishing, but luckily it's cold this week. Next week is supposed to be warm. Hopefully, I can get out to the lake twice at least next week. It's supposed to be warmer. But yesterday, seven pounds won the Tuesday tournament. I think six and a half pounds was second. It was real windy, so I thought the fish would bite, but I guess all that cold rain has had to drop the, the water temperature down, but the lakes went up over a foot and a half, so, I mean, the water's coming up. Maybe I'll get the bite going, but it seems like they aren't biting yet, I'm and I'm hearing it's tough today, too, so hopefully this weekend for the CBC and the BFL, it picks up for you guys, but I'm, I'm seeing it's going to be cold in the morning, but the sun might make the fish bite, so it might be a late afternoon bite for you guys. I'm sure somebody's going to catch a big bag and weigh in. I mean, if you catch them right now, it seems like they're better bear-sized fish. I bet 20 pounds on each day you'll win it but a lot of a lot of guys won't even catch a limit i think like 10 pounds will get you in the money either day for sure should be back for next tuesday tournament i'm gonna try to fish on wednesday too probably both days at norman gotta practice for the big bass at lake norman at the end of march and then i'm gonna start fit in april i'm planning on fishing all different lakes a lot of yak and chain lakes get away from norman for a while big bass tour tournament's probably the biggest tournament i'll fish all year i know this was a boring video and i just i couldn't really catch fish thanks for watching we'll see you next time on nc bassin